That's my twin. GLE. Match your bins. And my tent. Five percent. Ninety-seven point three. The heat. Y'all know what it is. Homegrown, rare rapper song. DJ Ko King coming up April fifth. We will have word of mouth Wednesdays at my place. Guest judge will be Cassidy. Two thousand dollar prize will be given to the winner. And with me is four-time champion of word of mouth Wednesdays. The one and only Muskegon Zone Z Bo. Yeah. What's up, Grand Rapids? How you been, Z Bo? Man, I've been good. You been all right, bro? I've been all right. I've been all right. It's glad. I'm glad that we finally can get you up here. When we were supposed to schedule the interview the, the first time, I think um, something happened to where, oh, what happened? You came second. Yeah. And so I was like, okay, well, we can't get him in now. Right. But we still owe you, like, from winning three times but prior to the time that you came in second. Yeah, I so, appreciate y'all having me, man. Man, absolutely. It's great that... You know what I'm saying? To see somebody like you, where your city is behind you, yeah. and they come to every performance, and they come live knowing your music. It's not just like they come to support. They come listening to Zevo. Zevo ain't just somebody. Zevo yeah. is somebody for real, for real. They listen to Zevo out there in the ski. Yeah, they, yeah, they saw me grow up. They, they watched this. They watched this, and they, they with me on the come up. So hopefully everybody keep coming with me and more people come. All right. So for people who've been living under a rock, man, who is Zevo? Like, where is Zevo from? You know, how does Zebo get the music? Like, tell us something about Zebo. Yeah, so, my name's Zebo. I'm from Muskegon, Michigan. I've been rapping since I was probably about 11. I probably made a song before that, which they didn't get out, but when I was about 11, me and my cousins was in a rap group, started by my uncle, me and his kids, and we took a CD to school with our music on it. We had a little mixtape, you know what I'm saying? So it started around 11 years old. We took our CD to Lindbergh Elementary, Gave them out to the whole class and okay. <clears throat> I've just been doing it ever since then. And if you know me and you from my city, then you know Zebo rap. You know what I'm saying? Not I, I just want the rest of the world to know what I'm about. Listen to my music, hear me out, give me a chance, and y'all to see and hear in my music how long I've been doing it. Right, right. And with, with every performance that we've seen, man, you just got crazy energy. <laughs> you know, and like you said, like you bring Muskegon to Grand Rapids every time you perform. Every yeah. time I've seen you perform, you done had at least like 10 people singing your song word for word with you. Yeah. So that definitely speaks when a lot of people don't even have that here in the city when they perform. Yeah. So that speaks so much to have like that support group. Blessed. Have you always had that support group as an artist? The people that come with me right now is the people that's been supporting me since I was a kid. You know what I'm saying? And the rest of the city, they starting to kind of catch on. Right. But, you know what I'm saying? The people that be with me, the 20, the 20 people I bring, they've been around since I was little. Some of them was rapping with me when I was little. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. But they, they come in everywhere I go. So, you know what I'm saying? I be trying to tell people, y'all book me. I'm at least go get y'all at least a good 500 at the door off of my name. Absolutely. <laughs> That's what's up. So, being that you done performed in Grand Rapids, I assume you've already performed in Muskegon many times. Where else have you performed at? I performed Muskegon, Grand Rapids, Detroit, and that's about it. Okay. That's about it. I only went as far as Detroit. That's definitely what's up. We're going to get into some more music with Zebo, man, but you do got some new stuff coming up. We're going to get into that, and you just dropped a project recently, so yeah. keep it locked. It's the Level Up session right here on 97.3 The Heat. coming in, that's coming out. Made a hundred thousand in the trap house. You can short me on the whims, but not on them packs. Grand Rapids song, DJ K.O. Ken, I still got Zebo in the building. Zebo, listen, when you perform this joint, yeah. Trap House, at my place, man, I swear, it's like, not only did we have, not only did you have, like, the crowd rock, rapping with you, one of the judges gave up halfway through the performance. He was just like, he ripped up, he was just like, you know what? <laughs> Get that? We already know what we doing here. Yeah. So, man, like, the energy you bring every time you perform is always electric. Outside of your own people that come <laughs> to get you. But one thing I did, like, when you did your fourth performance, you also was able to tell a story yeah. with your hip-hop. You're not just a turn-up hip-hop artist. Right. You a, you a hip-hop artist that's trying to tell their story. Yeah. So, without listening to their music, what is a story that you want the people to know about Zebo? I just want y'all to know, I don't want no sympathy. I just want y'all to give me a chance, you know what I'm saying? Just just listen to it, because 
Like I said, I've been doing this for a long, long, long time. And I feel like it's my time to time to blow now. And I just quit my job for this. I'm, I'm giving it everything I got. So if I do come up short, I can't say I didn't. You know what I'm saying? So I just want everybody to know I'm going hard as I can. And if y'all can, give me a chance. That's definitely what's up. That's definitely what's up. And I see, like, like you said, you got a gang of support that you've had since 11. That's so that's so beautiful to yeah. have that type of support, to have people following you since you was 11. And you, like, 28 right now? Yeah. So you've been having a following since you was 11. That's 16, 17 years yeah. of loyal support. And that's, that's all the people that really, really want to see me make it. You know what I'm saying? It's some people that be like, all right, I'm going to stick by both sides just in case he get there. But doing the people that be like, I can't make it to the show or... I gotta do something, you know what I'm saying? Cause I sacrifice. If if, if it's a, if it was the other way around, I finna sacrifice something to be there to support you. If I know this is your everything, absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. And you you feel that you're giving it every time, everything every time you perform as well. So yeah. that's definitely big to have people giving everything to make sure you can get, give everything. Yeah. On top of that, I I keep God first. Like I know a lot of artists probably don't, but I pray. Well, every time I get on that stage, I pray. You know what I'm saying? Cause I ain't when I first came, I ain't come there trying to win. You know what I'm saying? I just actually came there trying to get some fans, and then I actually saw like, you know what I'm saying? It ain't just Muskegon people out of town. They actually like this. So every week after that, I'm like, man, all right, I'm gonna go up here and give it my all every time until I lose. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely, absolutely. So we are gonna get into some of this new music, Lotto. Yeah. So is this new? Yeah, this on the new tape. I got a uh, joint project with my brother, Finn Tarantino, and it's called Lotto. Like, this little tape we did, it's really for the radio, so I hope y'all like this joint. Man, here go the new joint, Lotto by Zevo. It's the level of session right here on 97.3 The Heat. So you said you got um, an album that you just dropped or a project you just dropped. Yeah. So tell us about that album. So y'all go grab a uh, pusher. Type in Z B O. I want y'all to grab everything y'all see, but the newest one is Pusher. You know what I'm saying? That's my newest project, little EP I dropped. Just to, just to hold y'all over. You know what I'm saying? Summertime, I got a lot of stuff coming. Me and my boy putting together a little tour. We just trying to see what club's gonna let us have it first. So hopefully, you know what I'm saying? I have a little schedule for y'all by the summertime. That's definitely what's up. Seven tapes on iTunes right now, and on that Piff, I still got like six, seven. So I got about twelve solo. Ta twelve solo tapes. So twelve solo tapes, huh? Since eleven. Since eleven. Since eleven. You I almost know. dropped every year for the past eight years. Sometimes I drop twice a year. That's definitely what's up. Hard work. Hard work. And it's great to see somebody giving it they all like that. How do you find energy to get into the booth like that? It's 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 just really what I want to do. You know what I'm saying? I know that I want to do this. I love doing it. So it ain't it ain't nothing I gotta go find. It just be like I wake up in the morning and I know I gotta write something. Right. Or I gotta look at a, look for a beat or I gotta I gotta do something that got something to do with music or I feel like somebody working harder than me. So that's definitely that's that's the spark right there. I don't want nobody working harder than me. That's definitely what's up. And you brought us another track, Nobody. Yeah. So tell us about that track real quick before they get into it. Okay, so Nobody, that's off the Beach Boys, you know what I'm saying, The Wave, which I'm dropping a big, big video to that, the day of the show, April 5th. Y'all be looking out for that, but Nobody. Y'all just, y'all tell me how y'all high sound, because it ain't the original z -Buff, so feedback will be good for me. All right, here go that joint, Nobody, new track by z -Buff. It's the Level Up Session right here on 97.3 The Heat. Call me, 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 call me,
tracks man they definitely a vibe they definitely and that one i don't necessarily think it's different i feel like it's still zebo yeah yeah i like that about I, it then. yeah i feel like it's still zebo for real so april 5th coming up word of yes. mouth wednesdays yeah you know two bands on the line Ooh. you got a uh, guest host cassidy and not and not only that you got radio stations outside of myself and DJ Q89 gonna be there too. Yeah, so it's, it's gonna be it's gonna be big. Like shout out to Ruben, shout out to my place because they they really putting their foot out for us. Yeah, they they they, they got their neck on the line for everybody, and I appreciate them for that. So I want to say this: like, how is it that you was a three time champion, then you uh, came back, got the got the chain back, became champ again, yeah. and then left, took a little hiatus. How is it coming back now? I mean, coming back and some money on the floor. If they if they thought I was serious before, oh uh, man, they better know I'm for real this time. Okay. You know what I'm saying? It's just like I'm I'm coming with how I come. You know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna do the best I can. And if it's God's will, then I'm gonna keep my chain. I don't like to go up there cocky saying I'm gonna win because that ain't me. I might not win, but I wanna win. Okay, okay, that's definitely what's up. That's definitely what's up. And then having a following, like, always supporting and making their way up there to now having people have those standards and expectations, like, oh, Snap Z will about to be there. Right. Like, how does that feel? It, it, it feel real good, you know what I'm saying? Because not only did I, from the first time I came, I came with, like, seven people, eight people, to the last time I came, I came with, like, maybe 20 people right. on top of the people that starting to like me out here that come every week. So it's like the, the, the fans, <clears throat> sorry, the fans growing and it's only getting bigger. That's definitely, that's definitely facts. That's definitely facts. So what advice would you give to somebody who sees, yo, that's Zebo. He's seeing, he making moves. He's seeing his music is being heard. What advice would you give that person that's looking at Zebo and saying, yo, Zebo, what do I got to do? to start like getting my foot in the door when it comes to music like you um if they feel like i'm in a position to give them some advice the advice that i would get them because i don't feel like i'm doing enough yet so the advice that i would get somebody is step out your element you know what i'm saying like some people in your city might be telling you something different than what they want to hear somewhere else so just go somewhere else and let them hear what you got you know what i'm saying don't don't never get discouraged there was plenty of times a lot of people in my city weren't giving me, telling me what I want to hear, you know what I'm saying? Or they weren't giving me no play. They know I can rap. Like I said, I've been rapping for 10, 12 years, you know what I'm saying? But it's the fact that it's me, you know what I'm saying? And I just I just feel like if you want some play, go somewhere else. Okay. You know what I'm saying? If, you, if you're not getting it at home. Okay, that's definitely what's up. Now, Zebo has put out about six, seven solo albums that is streaming right now. On top of having about six, seven mixtapes on that piff yeah. and a couple mixtapes that dropped, but he had to take down. Yeah. So where can everybody find Zebo at? Okay, so you, you search up Zebo up on anything you got on your phone and anything with Fredo Gang under it nine times out of ten is me. It might be another Zebo up on iTunes, but 
You know what I'm saying? You, 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 you'll know me once you find me because I'm the one with the most stuff up in the catalog. Okay. All right. Talk that <laughs> then. Yeah, yeah. Talk that then. Okay. And where can everybody find you on social media? You look for me on social media at SSO Zebo. You know what I'm saying? Or just type in Zebo Bell on Facebook. Facebook is the only thing I got different because they made me put my name on that. You know what I'm saying? Anything else is SSO Zebo. That's definitely what's up, man. Look, we look forward to seeing what you got in store for us April 5th. Yeah. And anytime you dropping something new, anytime you just in the area, yeah. you say, yo, I got something new, man, hit me up. My dog. Stop through and let it be known right here on 97.3 The Heat, homegrown grand rapper song, man. It's the Level Up Session. Yeah, I appreciate y'all.